I love my brother. Well, then tell him. I can't. Two years ago, he lost his wife. Yes, you mentioned that. And I was unkind. I thought you said that you saved him from that aqueduct. That was later. <sighs> when Maria died, I, uh, I took advantage of the situation. I sued for custody of their daughter. I hid the truth, uh, the truth from them. I mean, there was a time when Madeline, uh, when everyone thought that Madeline was mine, but she wasn't. Edmund didn't know that, and I... I will never forgive myself for the suffering that I caused him. But he's forgiven you, surely. Edmund's the better man. Oh, I doubt that. No, 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 no. That I am certain, and he does not deserve this, no matter what the outcome. He's just starting to get his life back together. Edmund. Edmund. It's odd, isn't it, how everything in this room is exactly the same as when we left an hour ago? Yet everything's changed. You know, when Dimitri's coffin was <clears throat> put in the mausoleum, and the sound was so final. I, um, up until that point, I could almost pretend that he would walk through that door at any moment. But he won't. How do you do it? Do what? Keep it together. Well, you know us Brits. Stiff upper lip and all that. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's just that I don't have any memories of him in this house. I just see a beautifully furnished room. But you see... the last time you shared a great bottle of port or played hide-and-seek with the children. All my memories of him are in London. Edmund. What are we going to do without him? I don't If only we just had, had an opportunity just to, just to look at his, his beautiful face just one more time. Sorry for your loss. Thank you. Th thank you for coming. Sure. Um, Alex, this is Haley Santos. Hello. Hi. I'm. I. I don't know what to say. Um, I'll never forget Dimitri's kindness. I believe you're quite handy with the sword. Uh, <laughs> Dimitri tried to teach me to fence. He was very patient, and he had a great sense of humor. Thank God. <laughs> You were very important to him. I don't think he'll ever know how much he meant to all of us. Yes, I think he does. It was a beautiful uh, service, Alex. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't have done it without Edmund. He contacted everyone, all the family. Did you meet uh, Dimitri's son, Anton, and his mother, Corvina? I did, briefly. It's too bad they had to go straight back to Budapest after the service. I think Angelique is going to stay for a little while. Did you meet her? She and... Dimitri had quite a history. He told me. Uh, where is Angelique? I'd kind of like to catch up myself. Upstairs with Eugenia. I didn't see the uh, Duchess at the service is she okay? This whole thing has been such a blow to her. I, she didn't have the strength to leave the room. I see. Well, I kind of like the old girl. I'm going to go up and check on her, if you'll excuse me. Good Lord, everyone's arrived ahead of us. I should have been here first to get the food ready. What would Dimmy think? I 
think he's uh, taking this pretty hard. Yeah, she doted on Dimitri. He was like a son to her. I didn't expect to see you here. Well, thank you for coming by. I just, uh, I wish I knew about it sooner. I know how much you loved him. And I loved him, too. <laughs> he was, uh, he was really there for me when a lot of people weren't. Except you. You know, when I was a little girl, you always made me feel so grown up. And that was one of the things that I loved most about him. And now that I'm grown up, you, you could make me feel as safe as a child. <sighs> How can a man that was larger than life no longer be? <sighs> come, here. come here, princess. You don't have to be brave. Not for Dimitri, not for me. I'm sorry I'm supposed to be comforting you, and here you are. Here I am spending time with one of my favorite people. Thanks. You know, it's a little crazy if it weren't for people like you who make him seem so close. Yeah, he's gone, but everywhere you look. You hold on to those memories, okay? Maybe it'll make it easier for us. It's neat. At least you'll make Peggy feel happy. Mm -hmm. Erica, how are you? Well, Myrtle's taking very good care of me. I thought maybe uh, Palmer might have come with you. No, he sent a telegram expressing his condolences, but he's actually sailing on someone's yacht in the Mediterranean, a baron or something. Is he really? Mm -hmm. Oh. Myrtle, can I get you anything? No, 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 thank you. Oh. Uh. Dimitri's the one who should be laying me to rest. I still can't accept it. No, neither can I. She's made herself quite at home, hasn't she? Well... Alex looks calm enough now, but I saw her when she thought she was alone, and the look on her face would have broken your heart. I wanted to see Dimitri's face. And so did Edmund, and so did you, Peggy. She's just made it much harder on oh, everyone. darling, darling. Darling, you've got to remember that the, the poor girl should be on her honeymoon. And, and here she is, a, a widow. Dimitri and I were soulmates, Myrtle. Now, no one can deny that I was the love of his life, not her. Erica, I just wanted to thank you so much for coming. Well, of course. Where else would I be? Mrs. Marrick. Or do you prefer Countess Andrashi? You can call me Alexandra. Or Alex, if you like. Alex, we're... we're truly very sorry for your loss. Thank you. The last few days have been torture. But I'm... I'm so glad to meet people from Dimitri's life. Dimitri had such an enormous effect on so many people's lives. With his generosity. He was always helping people. Ah, uh, Brooke, actually. I know that you've met Brooke. Well, at one point, Brooke was accused of murder. And Dimitri actually moved heaven and earth to get her acquitted. Unfortunately, Brooke took his concern the wrong way. She felt there was a possibility of, of real love between them. But Dimitri was so dashing. Women were always throwing themselves at him. I've learned volumes about his kindness towards others since I've been here. And he told me how your devotion to Bianca inspired him. Really? Yes. He did talk about you a lot, Erica. And with great affection. <laughs> 